Okay, the highlights from GreatStockPicks.com on Thursday, February 7th from our live trading chat room. Uh, if you've been watching any of my videos at all, you know I've been really watching this Deckers Outdoor D-E-C-K. Um, you know, it was trading kind of choppy today on lower volume at first. And then uh, it sneaks up here and takes out the early high right here. These are five-minute candles. So on this pullback, uh, I went ahead and uh, it looked like this when I called it. I said if it gets to 42.20, worst case stop, um, 30 cents below, 41.90, just to give it a little room to work. But look what happens. There's the trigger, and forget about it. It was off to the races and goes all the way. might not look like much from here to here, but uh, went all the way to 43.85, dollar 65 in our favor, 30 cents risk. And the 30 cents risk is a little bit deceiving because right here is where it triggered. Uh, and you can see what it did. It never looked back. So I love it when they're easy like that. Um, and the daily uh, looks like this one could be multi-day. It's up here hitting the 200 day now. Um, but I've been watching this one for a break to the upside. A lot of shorts in it. So that's why I say this could be multi-day. Um, also called SWY. Now I was away when this one popped. Okay, it popped like this. Whoops. Let me zoom in a little bit. Um, big move there, but what that does is it puts it on my radar, okay? So then it is coming back down. Um, I was had, had enough time to look up the short position in this thing, and uh, once I looked it up, I, at least on Yahoo Finance, it said like 30%. The daily chart looked good. I went ahead and took it long right there at 20 bucks. Right at 20 bucks, I gave it um, 20 cents to get, uh, you know, just kind of an arbitrary 20 cent stop, but look what happens here. Right at 20. It turns up and goes all the way to 2064 over the next 15 minutes. That was easy money. Um, never, I don't think I was ever underwater. After I took it, it might have gone down to 1997 or something like that. But uh, again, that was a nice one. Um, other calls from the day. Uh, Schwab, kind of the same deal. I took this one at 1685 right there on this tail. Uh, again, another one that I missed the initial move. But what, what does that do? It puts it on my radar and took it at 1685 here. Worst case, stop a dime below. Never stopped out. And ended up going uh, to 17.12 at, at the highest after the bounce. Um, DHI called this one as a bottom feeding play at 22.91 right there. Worst case stop, a dime below, and look what happens. Now it wasn't huge, but it went uh, at its highest. DHI went to a 23.27 here, but you can see right after 22.91, I caught it like four cents from the low of the day. Got a nice bounce in that one. Now here's one to prove that I can still be a schmuck. Um, STX. When it looked like this, um, I called this long. I was using two minute candles. So I think it was like uh, 33.62, something like that. And I, I think the stop was a dime below. And look what happened. So well, you can't see it here. Um, hold on, I'll switch to twos. There you go. Over this candle, 33.65, stop at 33.56. So nine cents risk. Had this on the projector for everyone to see. Now look what happens. And this, this is just proof that I can be a schmuck at times. Um, rather than trying to play this so close, and what I used to do on, I call this a PFPD or a potential final push down. Everyone in the chat room already knows that acronym. Um, I usually, or I, I should say I used to take the entry like I took here and I would give it an arbitrary 20 cent stop to give it a little wiggle room. But instead today, I got away from that, tried to do a 9 cent stop and there's a the trigger. There's the stop right there. And then look what happens. Are you ready for this? All the way back to, I'll switch to five so you can see it better. This was the entry, got stopped out for nine cents and then it goes on. Now I got plenty of thank yous because some people in my room, okay, a lot of people in the chat room are a lot smarter than I am and they used a wider stop. And uh, I mean, that's just beautiful. Um, I mean, picked it, I was, I don't know what I was, uh, about a dime from the bottom uh, of the day. But uh, anyway, I, I absolutely blew that one. Certainly no harm done, uh, less than a dime risk. And uh, DEC and SWI, Schwab, they all, DHI all made up for it. Um, and then some, but still, I just kind of feel like sometimes, uh, you know, in the heat of the moment, I can be guilty of overthinking or overmanaging a trade instead of taking that a little bit smaller, giving it that 20 cent stop, and uh, man, I picked the bottom clean. So, oh, and the reason for the bottom call, I'll show you real quick, and then I'm going to shut up. It's grinding lower, grinding lower, and you start to get a little bit. It's it's subtle. You have to you have to really know what to look for, but you can start to see uh, the slope change. All right, and it's starting to get faster. And couple that with, I went to 60 minute candles and it looked like this at the time. It was hitting the 200 on 60s, 200 moving average. Plus you can see a lot of recent lows here. So technically, this is just in a range, right? People say, oh, oh it gapped down, it's gonna, it's gonna tank. But right now, um, STX is just in a range and I was able to 
call it down here near the lows of the range. So that was another reason. It wasn't just based on the intraday chart. It was based on the longer term chart. And look at that bounce all the way back to the highs of the day. And on the daily now, it's sitting at the top of that range. So anyway, uh, I've babbled long enough, I think. Oh, one other one. Dick Sporting Goods and uh, DKS. This met another one of our parameters, okay? Uh, we, we call this shape change into the uh, into the 200 on 15s or something like that. Um, you can see again here, it's grinding lower and then just really getting fast, okay? Um, and you switch to 15 minute candles and this is what it looked like at the time. It was coming down hitting this, this purple line here is a 200. The 200 moving average on 15s, 15 minute candles, is oftentimes where a stock will bounce. And if you see it on an intraday basis, on five minute candles, I should say, um, hitting that 15, 200, we call it, um, that's a good chance. If you, if you have shape, again, we call it shape into the 15, 200. How's that for a title? Um, if you have shape into the 15, 200, good chance you're going to get a bounce there. And uh, was a beautiful bounce. And, and, you know, several people in the chat room got it. Um, I'm not that enthused about it because I, I missed it even though I spotted it. So go figure. I was messing with another trade at the time. But um, there you go. That's babbling enough for the day. We'll, uh, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have a good night.